Here we are, ultimateboxbreaks.com with Super Six Pack. Next box. Let me print the list really quick. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, it's still kind of in the back of our minds, but it's a reality that we now have to deal with that um, the 2014 rookies are in this. So like Houston is super low, and Jacksonville and all those guys, you know, that are the 2014 rookies are in this product. So like you got to move up the Jags a couple spots, the Brownies a couple spots, you know, and get those 2014 rookies. They're not in the NFL jerseys, but if you get one of those autos, like those Leaf autos are going crazy. Yeah, you're right. Good catch. That is three. Here's two. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. So, Steve, you said there's four spots left in box three NT. Let's bust that. And um, here we go. As you see, guys, yeah, this is box number two. I, I grabbed the wrong one. There you go, box number two. And here's the list. Okay, ultimateboxbrace.com. Super six-pack, box number two. D-Buck, number one, goes with the Colts. B-Sec, he went big in this break, I think. I know he bought a bunch of spots. Traded by Sal Browning, who's been on a hot streak. HBK, Mr. Pogey, BSEC again, Jamie R., what's up, buddy, Mike D., River City, Ryan T., a lot of these guys from the same break, E. Andis, Tubbs, what's up, everybody, Will with another spot at the bottom, Here's the sketch, and it is of Larry Fitz. Larry Fitzgerald, 101 sketch, by Brent Naughton, sports, sports art, check him out. So that's Arizona, and that's going to Fisherman Hunter all the way there at the bottom, nice hit. Oh, nice. This is a uh, Timeless Treasures auto of Julio. So that goes to Atlanta. That's a BGS 9. Corners only 8.5, but they look all right to me. No, yeah, see, this one up here has got a little nick, so it's 8 on the corners, but that's a nice card nonetheless. And that goes to BSEC with the Atlanta Falcons. He put them pretty high, so it's kind of a power move. I like it. I respect that. You gotta remember, there could be anything in here, guys. So yeah, I would still put Indy one, but man, any team can hit out of this stuff. Because if you remember the original stuff that we got, it was loaded with Colts and, and Russell Wilson. This was a lot more balanced. You guys said you want want balance, so you got balance. And uh, I think it is a stronger product, so you guys were right. And this is what I'm talking about. You gotta put the 2014 teams in the front of your mind now when you pick. This is an AJ McCarron. Right? Roll Tide. So that goes to Cincy. And that is B-Sec. He's running the box. It's a 9-5. So another hit going after him. So it seems like the bigger hits are in the back. So I don't know who would sell these in like a, a hobby store and sell it by the pack. But uh, 
so far, it seems like the back has the big hits. Alright, here's an... Oh, oh, what a huge hit! It's a Le'Veon Bell Prism. But check it out! Pristine 10. And a 10 auto. Corners 10. Centering 10. Edges 10. Surface 9.5. It's .5 away from being a perfect 10 in all. So that had a big hit for Pittsburgh. A pristine 10 Le'Veon Bell Prism Auto. And that is going to Mike D. What a big hit. Love it. Is it numbered? Let's find out. I do not see any numbering. Last year, the rookie autos were at a 250. So it's probably somewhere around there, if I had to guess. But this card is not numbered. What Panini does is they number a lot of stuff internally. So we could probably find that out. If somebody wants to see if... Uh, you know, what the numbering is on that. And see if uh, if you guys know how to look up the population report. See if there's any 10s of Prism. Because that might be a pop one. Alright, third pack. And here we go. Love it. This this is also a very good box. It's a Jerry Rice. You can check that helmet out. And you see that goes to the Niners. Upper deck. Uh, epic, signature, uh, epic signature out of Century Legends. And that's a 9.5 with a 10 auto. Not numbered. Just let me see what you guys are saying for a minute. Alright. We got two packs left. You, you remember how the first Super Box was a little Pop-Tart? Just like a little calculator. Like, look at it. It's like a calculator. Or maybe like a cell phone. But to me, it looks like one of those TI-83 calculators. This is a thick pack. There might be two... Oh, there's two cards in here. I like it. Extra hit. Okay. So first up, we got a nice little Tavon. I'll take it. At an absolute. Tavon Austin. 9.5. And it is numbered 5 out of 299. And it is a 9.5. Look at that. Oh, so close. All the 9.5s. No 9s on that one. There's the back. So that's going to the Rams. Um, yeah. Oh, so that, that Jerry Rice for the Niners went to Browning, who continues his reign of terror, just getting hits all the time. Congratulations. And the Rams go to B-Sec with another hit. It's three hits in the box. He's killing it. And the other card in this pack is the GIF. Frank Gifford going to the G-Men. It's from 1959, tops. My God. So who's got the Giants? River City Gambler. Check out the back there. It's all weird. Rub edge of coin. Rub it. All right. So one pack left. I feel like this was a solid box, but we need a really big hit is what I say. Oh, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. How about it, A-Rod? How about that, A-Rod? It's a Prime Signatures auto of Aaron Rodgers. And it is really short. Check this out, if it focuses. Come on. There it is. 3 out of 20 for the Packers. It is not graded. Just slabbed. But, yeah. Yeah. Check out the back there. So that is going to be sec. What an absolute dominating performance. That is impressive, man. Congratulations. Empty box. All right, let me save real quick.